Hey guys and welcome back. In this video we are going to finalize our guides, learn about Block's guide editing utilities and start deforming our geometry. Let's dive into it. Picking this up where we left off, we have only a few more components missing. Let's keep going and build our neck and head. To build a neck module I'm going to use the same FK chain module setup I used to create a spine, so I'm going to use the module duplicate utility to do that. Since we are going to start using Blocks Guide's edit section, I think it's a good spot to go over them. I've set up a simpler scene to demonstrate the editing tools, which contains our spine, shoulder and arm modules. Let's start with duplicate module method. Duplicate module will create an identical copy of the selected module, incrementing its alpha. Child modules will not be duplicated. To duplicate a module with its children, use duplicate branch. To symmetrize a branch across a parent center module, use symmetrize branch method. You will use this one quite often. Symmetrize branch will create a mirrored copy of the selected module branch. This tool will also mirror spaces if any side related spaces are set within any of the branch's modules. In case a symmetrized copy already exists, lock will copy the transformations and attributes only, leaving the joint structure intact. With that said, if any joint structure related attribute will change during this process, this will of course trigger a joint structure update. Promote module is used to morph modules into different ones. For example, morphing a limb into an FK chain, or morphing a free control to a lookout control. The promotion list is based on the number of guides within the components and will only allow to promote to matching components. For instance, you won't be able to promote a free control to an FK chain, since the free control has only one guide and the FK chain's guide amount minimum is two. The three remaining guide editing tools will allow you to add and remove guides in case you need to after the module was initialized, so you won't need to recreate a component if you want to change the amount of guides. Block will handle all the connections and updates for you during this process. Of course, adding guides above the guide's maximum limit of a module will not be allowed, as well as removing guides below its minimum limit. Feel free to investigate these yourselves, they are extremely easy to use. Let's get back to the puppet. I'm going to duplicate the spine module to create my neck. Once the module is created, I'll go into the module settings, rename it to neck and set the alpha back to A. Now I need to reparent my module under the spine top guide and place the guides. I'm going to create an extra free control module on top of the neck to allow animation of the head only. I'll add a few spaces for flexibility and set to split my spaces to enable head isolation, or commonly known as a chicken head setup. Let's construct and make sure we have everything we need. I'll hide the model so we can see things clearer. Looks like everything is set up correctly and we are good to continue. Let's deconstruct. Our guides are almost ready to be symmetrized. Before I do that, I'm going to run through the modules and do a spaces check. I'm doing this before I symmetrize the modules, although I don't have to. I can always do this post symmetry and simply re symmetrize the modules to copy the attributes to the right side. While I do that, I'll explain that you can add guides as spaces, which will result in a space that is the control authority of this guide but you can also add joints and interp joints as spaces, which is very powerful. For example, if you have a bracelet on the arm that you want to add control to, the guide spaces won't be precise, 
as the bracelet is placed between the elbow and the wrist. So you can always add one of the in-between interp joints as a space to further refine the behavior. Now let's symmetrize our branches. I'll select the shoulder and symmetrize, then do the same for the leg. Since we're symmetrizing the branch, all child modules are going to be mirrored as well. And that's it, it's that easy. Let's construct. We're making some good progress and we're ready to bind our geometry. I'll select my root control, go into the deformation tab and use the select skinning joints utility to select my bind joints and bind my geometry. I'm going to paint my weights using NG skin tools, which by the way, I cannot recommend higher. I'll leave a link in the description in case you're unfamiliar with it. As I paint my weights, let's conclude this video and continue to the next one. In the next video, we're going to take a look at guide posing and create a simple picker to complete our rig. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you on the next video.